Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4 where we are playing as Kazan and oh god, hmm, hmm. So, a few episodes ago, we got crushed by Novgorod, Lithuania, lost a lot of territory. Last episode, we conquered some of Nogai to make us feel better, and it did. We're now allies with Perm, because we had to release them, and I tr I'm thinking, or I was thinking originally, that we could Diplo-Vassal them. I don't think that's going to work, though. That was my plan, but... We have negative 77 for offering vassalization because they, our economies are, well, I may be big, but my economy kind of sucks. We're not the same religious group and, of course, military power compared to them. So, yeah, I got a lot of negatives and I was thinking we could royal marry and there's a green checkbox, but apparently they're orthodox now. Even though I, I converted all of them to Sunni, they're now orthodox for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, orthodox doesn't let you marry outside of the faith, so that's not gonna happen. Though, how in the hell did they convert so quickly? I mean, I, I had converted all of them to Sunni. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, but oh well. And on a plus, we might be able to get Novgorod as an ally, which I think would be a very good thing. They have gone to neutral attitude with us. They're no longer hostile. And I've lost a lot of the negatives with them. And we're in the positive. I think if we work them a little bit more, we could get an ally, which would be good because I know Lithuania is going to attack us again. They want my provinces. They really don't like me. So having Novgorod side with me in that war, that would be good. That would be very good. So for the time being, we're going to pick away more at no guy and then eventually... Uh, Cockett and Tear. So we're basically going to try and expand southward. I think that's a good plan. But for today, we really need to recover. So let's unpause and actually, actually pause while all these things come up. Georgia no longer considers no guy a rival. Mm, probably shouldn't. Tiver has announced Muscovy as their new rival. Yeah, yeah, makes sense for them. And Yao declared war on Katsina. Hmm. Who's who's that? What? Do I know you? Ah, you're down there. Oh, okay, okay. Now, ah, yes, I, I noticed this before we started the stream today, and we have a national decision, and we've got two, one for missionary strength and one for national unrest. Even though I don't need the missionary strength one, we gain piety from it, so what the heck. We'll take that, and we're going to take this because I could use the negative one unrest, as I do have a couple of revolts coming up over here. <laughs> Since we did conquer this stuff from no guy, they are not happy campers, so let's take that. And actually, I should split this into two armies. Who's the next maddest? You! Okay, we'll move half our army there. That one actually is pretty much non-existent now, unrest-wise, because we did just get that negative one. Oh, no, now it's three because I'd moved away some of the troops. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, seriously, though, how in the world did they convert so quickly? I mean, I can understand their capital auto-converting when they regain their territory, but then that means they converted these two within just like a very short amount of time. Which, oh no, they still have Sunni there. Ah, so they're, st oh yeah, they're just still working on it. So yeah, their capital province became orthodox and they still have these two are Sunni. Fair enough, fair enough. What do we have for national decisions? None that is good. <laughs> yep, I don't like any of those. So let's... Oh, we could be Defender of the Faith again. That could be fun. I should spend that money on other things, though, like building temples. Let's build some temples. We could use that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Buildings and taxation, or mosques, rather. We are Sunni, after all. So where would be the best places to put them? Uh, you are well-developed. You would make good money. You. Oh, recall our diplomat from Novgorod, yes. And religious civil disorder in Bar? Where are you? Oh. 
I don't know who you are. Novgorod declared war on the Livonian order. Good for them. And Lithuania. Yes, recall our diplomat. Oh, boy. Seriously, though, who the hell's Bar? <laughs> Which one? Ah, you. I've never seen you before. Interesting. Eh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. What was... Oh, yes, I was working on buildings before I got interrupted. We can build a couple more. Oh, Persia declared war on Ardalan. Okay, good for them. Uh, more of these. We've got some decent provinces over here that could be worked better. Uh, yeah, you. And you. That's all for now. That'll help make us a little bit more cash, which is always a good thing. Who doesn't like cash? Lithuania. I'm never going to be able to make friends with you, am I? I don't think I will. And ally Frankfurt, you say, Wyvern? No? <laughs> Does they even exist right now? I don't see them. Where'd more? Oh, Georgia, no guy, rivals. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no guy. Oh, no guy finally decided to stop their alliance with Crimea. And they've gone to war with them. Oh, Crimea. I'm actually kind of happy this is happening. <laughs> oh, God, what's this? Cossack aggression. Uh, da -da -da. The event Cossack aggression happens. So demand that these Cossacks be brought to justice. Or we will have to... Uh, we will uh, just have to let this slide. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to bring them to justice. Lithuanian response. What? Oh, we gain a border friction casus belli on Lithuania. And we lost base tax in that province. Damn it. Oh, man. And oh, we're not going to use that casus belli against Lithuania. That would be suicide for us. <laughs> oh, how many soldiers do they have compared to us again? Bring out the magical ledger. Scroll down to the L's. Lithuania. Force limit of 62. We have a force limit of 20-something. 20 23. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And yes, Freeman, I actually think I might try and ally with the uh, Ottomans. There's the word. They might be good, too. They kind of like me without having done much with them. So let's actually send... Oh, God, hold on, hold on. When it stop popping up. Oh, they don't like me. Of course, of course. Kazani Navy strength. We're still freaking landlocked. We can't make a navy. I hate that they hold that against us. I'm a landlocked nation. How dare you hold navy against me? Ah. Uh. <laughs> still, let's improve relations. Keep them happy. That is really annoying that you get that held against you for being landlocked. That is... Oh, boy. Uh, hire an engineer, 40 military power. Yeah, we'll do that. And pause, because we have tech, military tech, even better. <gasps> new cannons and new horses. Yes. Ah, oh, beautiful. I love military tech. Okay, so new cannons. Let's go with... Hmm. So this one's definitely offensive fire on defensive fire. Defensive shock, offensive morale, flanking range 2. Offensive fire, defensive fire, offensive morale, and defensive morale. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with these ones. Like morale. Though shock is good, but it's only defensive shock. We'll go with this one. Yeah. And the cavalry. We only have one option. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Let's unpause. And Mazlot, you just started playing E4, huh? Uh, any advice I could give you? Hmm. Don't die. <laughs> Do better than me. <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I think a good start, I don't know if you have the expansions for it, but uh, the Native American cultures up in North America are pretty cool. I actually really like starting uh, games with those guys because they've got their own buildings and all that, which is always fun. So that's always fun to play over there. Uh, as for general tips, money is king. <laughs> Make all the money. 
and you really should be improving your provinces, which I a lot of people have pointed out to me in my com in the comment section on the videos that I don't. And I haven't been doing it because I still do not really understand this whole horde system. And apparently, if I improve provinces, it, it drops my horde unity more quickly. And also, it means that the horde estates may want more land because the estates are figured, or how much estates they want and demand, is determined by overall country. Uh, points here, the development points, so that's why I've been avoiding doing that, but I still probably should, but ugh, god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I'm really not made up built for this horde thing. <laughs> I'm always constantly worried about this, but oh well, oh well. And yes, that, that Zeus, that Zeus, how, how do you say that? Um, yes, I really should get a coastline, <laughs> but where? <laughs> There is nowhere I can get a coastline from. Oh, uh, God. Even if I colonize up this way, I can't get coastline there. So unless I conquer my way through Asia. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Denmark. You are doing some things over here. What, what's going on here? Occupied by Novgorod. Holy crap, Novgorod, you are... You are getting big. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, so I guess Denmark's allied with the Livonian Order. Hmm, okay, fair enough, fair enough. And Freeman, what is my computer type? What, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I have a PC. A uh, PC that I built myself, that's... <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really understand the question. And Mazlot, I am technically over my cold, but I still have some of the remnants from it, so I'm still a little bit congested. It's always the thing I hate is after I'm sick, I still end up kind of almost like I'm sick, but I'm not. I feel fine, but I'm congested. Ah, uh, yes, and Crimea is gone. Ooh, that's good for me, though, because that means... Haha, -ha, we now only have three diplomatic relations because I still actually had a royal marriage with them So we still had uh, an extra diplomatic relation that I just wasn't using So you you have any friends now you don't Hmm When can I fight you again? Oh my god a long time Really that long? Huh Wow, nine years. I guess ten year truce still, though. That seems like a long time. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. See, oh, that's, that's actually not that bad of a plan. Conquer down... Oh, actually, it is kind of a bad plan. Uh, so, Wyvern saying in chat, to conquer no guy, then conquer Georgia which would get me coastline, but then it would give me a much larger border with Lithuania who hates me and wants my things. <laughs> so it's um also not a great plan. Oh God, oh God, we're going to die. <laughs> Maybe we should just attack down and conquer a really weird path down to Persia. <laughs> Uh, that could be fun. Estate modifier expired. Oh, Their influence is down. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. I really do not understand the whole estate thing. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's a, oh, because I wasn't... I could support the tribe and get more loyalty up. But now their loyalty is already pretty good right now. Which is always nice. That raise host thing was very useful last time around. That was very good. So keep that in our back pocket for another day. And Wyvern, I have thought about annex annexing Kazakh. Because it would give us an uh, instant, you know, fight down here against Kokand. And a better border with Mongolia. But I kind of like having them as my vassal because it makes my life a, a little easier because they're a guaranteed ally. A, they're, and the amount of troops I could get from conquering them 
probably wouldn't equal the amount of troops they can build because the capitals always get an extra bonus to the amount of troops they can have. So that's why, you know, one province miners can still field half decent little armies. So I'd probably get, if I uh, annexed all of Kazakh, I'd probably get maybe four more units that I could build, whereas they give me eight. So yes, that's why I haven't. Plus, I like vassals. I've always enjoyed them. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why are you just moving over there? I thought they were going to go try to fight those rebels for a second. I was like, wait, what? No, that's no guy's problem. Leave it to no guy. Hmm. I don't know, though. It might be good to annex them. Do they have any gold-bearing provinces? That'd be nice. Ooh, they do make silk, though. Or cloth, rather. Fish? Fish? Oh, I guess they do have some water there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, well, they got the got this iron one, which isn't bad. Copper. Yeah, they... What? <laughs> so, uh, landlocked Kazakh has a province that has naval supplies in the middle of freaking nowhere with no oceans nearby. God, this game. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Oh, good point. I haven't thought about supporting rebels in no guy. Thank you for that one. Though, oh god, how much money would that be? <laughs> uh, support the rebels. So we couldn't go, yeah, it's not bad. Monthly costs, how much money do I make at the moment? Hmm, that would put a damper on my bills. <laughs> hmm. Eh. I mean, I'm tempted. I am tempted. Support the rebels, which is it's over 2.4. Ah, yeah, but see, none of them really have a good thing going, because they just got crushed. Unfortunately. Holy crap, that would be a lot of money new. No. <laughs> so that'd be the best bang for my buck. Eh, what the hell, we'll do that. Hmm, I mean, we could... Yeah, let's do a little bit more and get four unrest from for them. I like it, some separatists. Send, what the heck. Recall our diplomat, Mongolia. Yeah, we could use some more improving relations with you. You are my only powerful ally at the moment. Perm. I mean, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. So let's do that. And, hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's awful, Lone Ranger. <laughs> your son was Emperor of Byzantium in CK2, and you're King of England. Well, first off, impressive. You must have gotten some good marriages there in uh, Crusader Kings. But then you got called a filthy liar and broke your alliance. That sucks. Hmm. And Wyvern, uh, I have thought about going the convert path, but dear God. God, that would rip apart my country. Even though, yes, converting to Orthodox means I'd probably have a better chance of get making friends with Lithuania over here. Though, actually, no, they're Catholic. Or are they? Hold on. <laughs> oh, they're in a Regency Council right now. Oh, that's good. That means no wars for a while with them. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're Catholic. So if I converted, I mean, I would have a better chance of getting them as an ally. But, but, problem is with that one is that then I'd have to convert all of my provinces because only my capital would get converted. The rest, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'd end up being a very, very bad day for me because um, Sunni is hard to convert. <laughs> oh boy. How's this whole thing going? You got unrest? I hope you have unrest. Yeah, a little tiny bit over there. Da -da -da, a little unrest over there. Where where are these separatists that I su am supporting? 
Not finding them. Giving up. Oh god, I think it actually was like one of these. Oh, yep. Yep, since I just had the recent uprising, it's negative 100. I'm wasting my money. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's true. Have Catholic rebels rise up. It might be a it might be something interesting to try. But with my luck, the moment I did that and my country was in uh, all hell, then Lithuania would come in and go, ha, 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 fighting you now. Oh, and Scotland declared war on Norway. Oh, my God, Novgorod. You're getting big. You're getting real big. Oh, at least you still don't hate me. <laughs> oh, God, that's not good. You're getting too big for your britches, Novgorod. Lithuania will probably stab you in the back at some point. In fact, I know they will. Hmm. Okay, there was something I was actually meaning to do. Oh, yes. No guy. I'm gonna give up on supporting the rebels. <laughs> That's a waste of money. Uh, yeah, it's a waste of money. <laughs> so they just had the uh, whole... Put down a rebellion. Oh my god, why could I not? My brain just completely froze then. What the hell? <laughs> uh, yep, yep. So, we're out. We're out. Okay. Now I have my money again. I prefer having that. Mongolia. So, could we declare war on you? Does my. We could threaten war. <laughs> if uh, Does Kazakh have any claims on you? Ooh, you have friends. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, Muscovy? The crap? <laughs> okay, Muscovy. Yeah, you go ahead. You make some uh, claims on me. Oh, God. What? Everything's popping up. Recall our diplomat. Monetary reforms. Ah. Oh. I'm going to go with the gain inflation because I don't want to lose stability right now. And besides, I do have that thing that lowers it, so it's good. And we can always do this. Ooh, actually, no, I don't want to do that because I am trying to get admin points right now. End of religious turmoil in England. But yeah, we do actually have a castle spell eye against them. To grow Kazakh even more. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, what just happened? Oh, God, pause. Black news indeed. Oh, our king died. Damn it. <laughs> oh, and we just lost that stability that I was trying to hold on to. Oh, man. A new con. Oh, God, that means I have to take these decisions again because they only last for as long as my king is around. Okay, there we go. Uh, so my new king, huh? Oh, God, I have no legal heirs. Well, that's not good. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I've got some royal marriages. We should hopefully get one soon. I mean, he's not horrible, but he's not great either. Ugh. That is very unfortunate. Let's unpause. Oh, thank God. We almost have the Adam in tech. Uh, oh, yay. Then we can colonize. And that makes me happy. <laughs> we could colonize across the tundra. And gain our, gain our naval bases over here. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Actually, it might be good. Where would be the good first colony to go for? I mean, they're all three, aren't they? Isn't that a thing that I just keep forgetting every time I try to colonize? Yep, all threes. <laughs> Blasphemy! Well, we're gonna burn them at the stake. I mean, come on. Yeah, we're burning at the stake. I don't want to lose prestige. <laughs> okay. All right, we can build some more things. I'm actually going to keep my money for now because we can colonize soon, and I'll need to bank a little bit for that. Yes, we almost have colonization. Yay. God, there's really no good places to colonize, though. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was hoping maybe there'd be, like, a colony place up here so I could get access to the ocean, but nope. 
Nope, that's all wasteland that I can't go to. And that one won't help me with water, now will it? Hmm. Unfortunate. I'm actually thinking this one. Then give me an actual proper border with Mongolia rather than through Kazakh. I think that'd be good. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll just need to put a few soldiers there and all will be well. Let's actually build our... Uh, Colonial defense force that I always make whenever I build colonists. So let's do it with them. Yeah, good old steep riders. Just make three of you. Ooh. Yeah, three. Yeah, three. I had to think for a second. Wait, what's our cavalry thing that we can have? But no, we're 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 horde. We can have one hundred percent cavalry, and that's all good. Um, bum, 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 bum. let me just double check that. Yes, yeah, one hundred percent cavalry. <laughs> Just to make sure I wasn't thinking things. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea, Wyvern. To colonize that one so my border isn't as wonky. Oh, boy. Problem is, though, is that one of the reasons I also want to go over here is because it's not Arctic, which gives, a uh, you know, local settler chances down a bit. Uh, yeah, first colony, we're going over here. I'll do that one later on. That, that, that whole Tundra thing is what gets me. Alright, you guys just converge there. Aha! Attack! Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we can take our next idea group. Which we're going to go with exploration. Because I want those colonists. Alright. And we can instantly get this one. Beautiful. Ottomans declare war on Venice. Oh, poor Venice. All right, let's. Hmm. What? We need to choose our native policy. We have a native policy. Is that a new thing? <laughs> oh, is that a new thing? I've never had to do this before. Hmm. So we can change our policy to native coexistence. Which lowers native uprising chance. I kind of like that. Uh, native trading policy, which some resistance, but more native assimilation. I think we're going to go with that one. And that one is just a global settler increase. Oh. Oh. We could just go really oppressive. I kind of want to go really oppressive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like that because I like the uh, native assimilation events. That's always good. It helps build them up quicker. But, I mean, just a 20 increase to global settlers. I mean, that put us up to 45. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Yes. I think it'll be better in the long run. Okay, now we send and move them in. Okay, do we have anything new over here? No, no, no. Just the same old, same old. Hun pause. Oh, God. Are you attacking? Who are you? Why do you have soldiers? Oh, no, that's Muscovy. I thought that was Lithuania's soldiers. Hmm. Wait, how do you have so many soldiers? Hmm, that's unnerving. That's very unnerving. How do they have so many soldiers? <laughs> Look at what I've done to their country. I've destroyed it. This is what I've made them. And they still have that many soldiers? Damn it. They actually have more than me, which is not good. Hmm. Hopefully Mongolia will help. Hi, Mongolia. You're at war, huh? Why didn't you call me in? I just sent a small force to help. <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, he's still getting there, huh? It's taking a surprisingly long amount of time for him to go to a, get a colony that's, like, right next to my territory. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's coming from the capital and has to go all the way over here, but still. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> and Lone Ranger, I went with the, uh... Oh, God, which one did I go with? What was the name of it again? Oh, God, which page was it on? Aha! 
I went with the native repression policy. Uh, let's... What? New air! Yes! Beautiful! Okay. And we have gained a tribal feud cast a spell against Mongolia. What? 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 Why? Mongolia is our friend. Oh, it's because I put a border next to him. Oh, that was probably a bad idea now. Yes, and now he wants my provinces. Well, crap. <laughs> well, perhaps we will be going to war with Mongolia, but you're my friend. Oh, uh, that is very unfortunate. That is that is very unfortunate. I didn't even think about that. Huh. Well, not much I can do there. We can do more of these, huh? I mean, I guess I could take a couple of... Oh, no, I can only do one more, which we'll take it, because then we'll get this. So we now have cavalry combat ability is up, which is good. Excellent. I don't care about the commander guy, though. Oh, native uprising. Oh, no. <laughs> so we're back to that, huh? The, oh, no, native uprising. Oh, what a shame. Oh, we're losing money. Of course we are. Damn it. Colonizing is expensive. Oh, it's because of our inflation. And our, and our, and our military. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, how are these uprisings going? We, we can lose, we can stand to lose money for a little bit. Uh, b -b 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 -bum. Savoy declared war on Burgundy. Oh, and time. Okay, so that is the end of the first half of the stream, folks. So uh, if you are watching the stream live, just stay there and you'll be able to watch part two coming up like right now. And if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, you can come back on Thursday to watch part two. But of course, I hope you do come to uh, the next stream every Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, which is, oh boy, what, 3 GMT? Something like that, I think? Maybe? I don't know, I could be wrong on that, but really early in the morning, GDMT. Uh, but yes, that's going to be all, though. Thank you for watching, my folks. Uh, my folks? No, my friends. And have a good one.